Hey there everyone, I'm your host Faraz. We are solving the contest, bi-weekly contest 46 and this is the problem number 3. So let us go through the problem statement once. We are given a matrix M cross N and each cell is either 0 or 1. 0 represents land and 1 represents water. Now we have to return a matrix of size M cross N as the answer and how do we have to create this answer? So the cell which is water that should be marked with 0 and all the other cells should be marked with something positive. And these are the rules. The height of each cell must be non-negative. So the value which we assign to each of the cell must be non-negative. The water cell is uh, 0. So the water cell is 0. And any two adjacent cells must have absolute difference, not more than 1. So we can see the adjacent cells are, uh, the difference of adjacent cells are not more than 1. Also find the assignment of the height such that the maximum height is maximized. So what is the uh, adjacent cell here? So for this particular cell, this is adjacent, this is adjacent, this one is adjacent, and this is adjacent. Actually, they share a boundary, right? So that is why they are adjacent. So we have to assign in such a way that the uh, maximum height is maximized. Okay. The first thing that we know is some cells are marked with 1 in the given matrix and they represent water. So in the second example here, this is what uh, given to us and we know that the cells which are marked with 1 represents water so this represents water and this represents water so we can mark them with 0 in the final answer according to the given rules now we need to assign height to the other cells how can we do that so basically we can start with this as a reference we can start from this point and we know that the adjacent cell to this one is this this and this what values can you think what values you do you think can come here so we need to assign in such a way that the absolute difference that doesn't exceed 1. So we can either go to minus 1 or we can go to 1. These are the only two options, right? Because uh, the absolute difference between the uh, 0 and something that we put here should not be greater than 1. So obviously, um, uh, we cannot assign minus 1 be because we are not allowed to use negative here. So we can just mark them with 1. Okay? Alright, so we are done putting the adjacent values of this 0. So we are done processing this. Now let's move on to the next zero, which is available to us. So the next zero is over here. This is. So similarly, this is the neighbor, this is the neighbor, this, the, these are the two adjacent. Again, we can assign them with one and one. The absolute difference is uh, maintained here. And the absolute difference between these two is also maintained. And these two is also maintained. The absolute difference between these two is uh, zero. So it doesn't exceed one anyhow. Alright, so after this, we can go to any of these ones. So let us say we go to this one. Now all these indices, all these um, adjacent cell to this are this one, this one and this one. These are already filled. So we don't need to proceed with this one. Now let us go to this one. Okay. So here the adjacents are this, this and this. Now this is empty. So what value can uh, do you think can we put here? We can either put 0 here the absolute difference will be maintained. We can even put 1 here. Then also the absolute difference will be maintained and we can even put a 2 here. Why? Because still the absolute difference is maintained and as in the question it is given that we want to maximize the um, yeah, we want to maximize the maximum height. So that is why we will put 2 here. Now again we will go to this particular one. This is also unprocessed so we will look at the neighbors of this. These are the neighbors these two are already filled this one is not filled so what value can we fill here we can either put 0 1 or 2 so we will putting 2 here so this is how we do this first of all we start with 0 we start processing with the zeros and once we are done filling all the neighbors of 0 then we will move on to the next one so either this 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 or this we can start with any of these ones and then we can fill the neighbor of these ones so what do you think can we use here? Which structure do you think can we use here? We can simply use a BFS, right? A multi-sourced BFS, breadth first search. The sources are going to be the zeros, okay? So the uh, zeros are going to be the sources to start this breadth first search. All right, so this is what I came up uh, during the contest. So I'm just going to quote down this particular algorithm, this particular approach. If you know some other approach, please let me know in the comments. So how to do this multi-source uh, BFS? So for that, I will create a queue. Queue will be of type pair of int comma int. 
uh, so as to store uh, the what do you call um, the INJs the location of each particular cell right so this is the queue now I will go to each of the indices i is, is equal to 0 i smaller than n i plus plus and I'm traversing the uh, given matrix this is water j is equal to 0 and j is smaller than m and j plus plus n is the length w dot size and m is w zero dot size okay let me also create an answer here answer should be a vector again a vector of int a vector of vector of int this is the answer this should be of size m cross n cross m so n and a vector of int so it should be of size n cross m and let me initialize this with a uh, maximum value int max okay so this value int max or maybe minus one I can initialize it with the minus one so this value will represent that I haven't filled that cell yet okay mm, now let us go to each of the indices if w of i comma j this is equal to one if this is equal to one it represents that uh, it contains water so at that position in the answer I should fill zero and this is one of the source so this is one of the source of the BFS to start the BFS this is one of the source so I can push it into the uh, Q so Q dot push I comma J done alright now I can start the BFS from here while not Q dot empty So I will be looking at the topmost element auto A is equal to Q dot front and Q dot pop. Okay. So this is the topmost element. Uh, this is the uh, I will find out the one of the source. Now int V is the value. So the answer of I comma J or a dot first and a dot second so I will make x is equal to a dot first and y is a dot second so these are my i's and j's okay so this is x and y so this will give me uh, what is the value at this particular cell okay now I will explore the neighbors of this cell x comma y I will I'm going to explore the neighbors and how do we go to all the four neighbors so for that we use this trick we create a vector of int v mm, oh, are we using v here so we can use a temp vector of uh, temp and I can initialize this with minus one zero then minus one then zero and then one minus one zero zero minus one I think here we should use one here so minus one zero zero one one zero and zero minus one so for int i is equal to zero i is smaller than temp dot size i plus plus just hold on I will just explain why I'm taking this temp you can explore the four neighbors by simply taking uh, let's say if this is your x and y you can simply explore the four neighbors by taking x plus one y x y plus one x y minus one and x minus one and y so these are the four neighbors right so um, I don't want to write them separately that's why I'm using this trick over here so if x plus temp of i if uh, this is this is going to be one of the neighbor okay and if this is greater than or equal to zero and end x plus temp of i is smaller than n and y plus temp of i plus one if um, this is smaller than m and y plus temp of i plus one is greater than or equal to zero so I am well within the boundaries okay if answer of this cell 
this neighbor x plus temp of i and uh, y plus temp of i plus 1 if this is not equal to minus 1 if it's not equal to minus 1 it means that it is not processed yet then only I will proceed further so answer of x plus temp of i and y plus temp of v, temp of i plus 1 this will be equal to v plus 1 also I'm going to push this particular uh, cell into the queue so q dot push x plus temp of i comma y plus temp of j this is just the normal BFS that we are doing here and in the BFS we usually require to maintain a set a visited set so instead of visiting set I am just using the answer because I will see if the answer is not computed for this particular cell then only I will proceed with it otherwise I will continue okay and finally I can return the answer from here let me just try to run this if uh, there are any compilation errors hmm so temp of j where did I write temp of j here in I plus I plus one here so it is not giving me correct answer for I don't know what reason let me just try to figure this out once I think I am inserting everything into this queue then x is this y is this v is this um, it's the temp i is so smaller than temp plus size i plus plus temp of and this is smaller than n and and y plus temp of i plus one is smaller than m and y plus is greater than okay so if this is n not okay if this is equal to minus one then only we are going to proceed right so it is giving me some error because I am accessing the index which I shouldn't access so where can I f okay let me just try to debug this a little bit so I'm just printing answer here okay the answer is being printed so we are correct till this particular line now I will pr try to print over here okay so it is also printing correct hmm okay so basically the error is at this place so temp dot size minus one because I am accessing the index temp plus one as well so let me just try to run this now Mm, it is giving me correct answer. Let me just try to submit this. And it got accepted. So this is nothing but a simple BFS but with multiple sources. Okay. So we should start the BFS from the cells which are marked with zeros. And then and then proceed further. Okay. So this is it for the solution. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to leave your comments and do subscribe to the channel if you want more such content in future as well. Thank you.